Generic greetings and welcome to Pile Up, today's beverages. A very nice and chilled iron brew. So welcome to Pile Up Above the Clouds is the subtitle there. Essentially a strategic city builder where we have to build a city on a very small base and deal with all of the amenities and, well, don't explode. I have played and displayed the demo in the past, but this is the first time I've been able to check out the full game. Let's go over to New Land and see what this is like. So we have Wrecked Land here, which is the default one. You've also got uh, an unknown one set here. Yeah, okay. So I'm guessing we need to unlock these, but yeah, we'll try this one. You can put in like the citizen name and the island, but we're just going to click play as the default there. There is a regular and sandbox mode. We're going to go with obviously default regular and see what we have to do. So yeah, it looks pretty much like I remember it. It's a stack area, which is on this part here and we need to get to 5,000 I believe so what have we got we've got a portable house a gardenless house we've got small house and a home office so basically you can place these around the area now I'm gonna hang them off the edge because well I mean it actually seems really bad to hang them off the edge but uh, well you know what we're just gonna go ahead and sort that out so these require certain resources so for example the portable house it just says oh, it says people are small so we pile 12 of them inside okay um, these buildings here require power we've got um, gas as well as like that's like green space anyway we've we got slightly bigger houses we do that requires gas that requires water and gas it seems and I do stress seems to be sort of random in what we are getting for the needs. I'm just going to build all on the base there. Um, there we go. There is our there is our base. Oh, that's okay. So we've got a house factory, which is quite large indeed. Now, can we place it on that corner there? We can. And another factory, which sadly just won't fit in there. Art to rotate here. And I'm going to put maybe that in there. There's other sections that we'll have to keep open just so we can, you know, add them in later on. And there we go. So that's pretty much done. We're going to skip to the next phase, which is ooh, a nice change of... Nice change of uh, change of the scenery. It's uh, starting to the sun's starting to set here. So we have a, a gardenless house. We have a platform which is solid. It says this building or oh, this buildings cannot be destroyed. So we can place it say there, and then we can build stuff on the outside if we wanted to, like that. And that is oh, that is a water tank. Provides the. Ah, provides the need for water within range, uh, leaking danger. This building will destroy what's below it next turn, excluding the same building or solid buildings. So, right, it's on solid. Ah, uh, if I knew that, I would have definitely placed that in there. That is not ideal, so I'm guessing I'm going to have to put it there. I mean, where is it? What is it fulfilling? Actually, you know what? No, we might as well. It's just, it just uh, like place on solid, and I'm guessing, I'm guessing there would be totally acceptable. Um, maybe. A gardenless house I'm going to put in there, all right? And then the leaking one there, because nothing's underneath it. But it does have an area effect of going above as well. Factories should generate some uh, <laughs> some things for us. Oh, yeah, there's uh, night time and all the lights come on. Nice. So we have a uh, electric generator. Provides the uh, need electricity in range. Igniting danger. The building triggers uh, some effects like explosive. I mean, that's not good, but I mean, I place it there and it's going to make all of these citizens happy, which is good. I'm going to place another house there and yeah, all right. So overall citizens is it's not past the the danger threshold for 50% happiness level critical is 20 and uh, there's the things that can be generated. We've got the factory count, the... Yeah, will be generated 27 houses, 14 supports. Yeah, okay, fair enough. And we've got probably, uh, yeah, end the turn there. I think there's also options for uh, building above. Uh, is it control? Yeah, there you go. So you can look right above. So, oh, actually, you can't see it, which is a shame. But there is a small gap there. So that would be good to place there. We do have a home office here. And I'm going to rotate that around and just put it in, like say, like so. And then we have the gas tank. It says explosive. This building can explode when in contact with igniting buildings like electricity. So, for example, if I place it there, it's going to... Well, it's, it's going to be a... <laughs> <laughs> a fairly suboptimal approach and well I guess 
The best place for it is an area where it connects up to everything, which is there, but it's not going to be within the explosive radius, and that is apparently nice. Okay, good. So I think progress is fine. <coughs> Excuse me. And let's see what it gives us now. We have a park and we have a portable house. Sadly, the portable house will not go in in there. There's like, there was a cavity there, which I thought I'd be able to place it, but apparently not. And the park says, provides the need for plants in range, but we can't build roofs above that. So yeah, placing it say here would be suboptimal to say the least, simply because we can't build anything above it. It says roof, you can't place any objects on top of this building. So placing it out of the way is probably the way forward. So there, for example, I think is fine. And then we're gonna place another bit of housing in there. And even if, yeah, I was gonna say, even if it has some needs, we should be able to fulfill the majority of that. All right, good. So that seems to be okay. We do have a portable house, another portable house, which I'm going to place in there. Requires water, that's done. Again, just going to keep skipping here. I think we get bonuses when we get to 600 citizens. Um, that is another home office. I'm just going to put that on the edge like so. Although, yeah, if there is a need for water or anything else, we won't be able to fill that. But hopefully we'll get some of the stuff as we keep drawing the cards. There is another home office. Wow, okay, we've been getting a lot of home offices here, but I guess... Hmm, if I place it in that way, it means we can then expand there. This requires gas, so we'll have to have a look at that once we get certain parts. There's another portable house. We didn't give them a lot of portable houses, but placing them where they are there, it just works out. I love the dynamic generation of some of these extra bits. So we've got like canisters on the side, we've got awnings, all of the rooftop uh, apparel. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. And we have uh, day nine, six minutes in, and we have apartment complex. Ah, oh, okay. Right, so, I mean, I can't remember that being in the demo. I mean, it might, it might have been, uh, but I'm not too sure. Anyway, well, this is an explosive gas tank, and, well, we don't want to obviously place it close to that, because it will, yeah, it will go boom, or potentially go boom. I'm going to place this one in here. No, I'm going to place it in bound, and that requires... Not much, actually. Not much. Uh, okay, so we just need to place this gas then. And I'm going to place it... Probably there is fine. It will obviously get that need and then anything else that's built around. That's what we have to think about. Got another home office. And I will rotate this. And that requires electricity. Unlikely that that'll ever get electricity. No, <laughs> owing to uh, the other building. I think when I played the demo, I was able to stack uh, a couple of things and it worked out quite well. But yeah, there's all sorts of issues at times when you're um, trying to let's say, get everything in the, in the right order. Hmm, I mean, we could just double stack this because of reasons. Yeah, we can. There you go. <laughs> it actually looks pretty nice. And I think we've just went past a certain milestone here, which is going to give us some options. Yes, indeed. So... We have been given... Oh, no, that is another home office, which will fit very nicely in there. And Stack Landville. Oh, so, it's, so it's went from Stack Land to Stackville. Okay, so what do we have? We have the generates a watchtower every three turns. Don't know what, what that one is. And generates a, f uh, a factory... Oh, sorry. Um, generates a factoring for every 3 to one factory's drain. I'm going to go with this watchtower thing that seems uh, pretty interesting we have an action factory an action factory and an action factory so i'm going to go with the action factory over the action factory because i just prefer action factory over action factory and well where do we go from here this is a watchmaker a watchmaker did i say watchtower i think i said watchtower anyway we're gonna place a watchmaker in we've got another uh yeah we've got an action factory and a house factory so quite large and i'm very aware that there's a gap there and there's a couple of gaps around here so i might might be it might be of some benefit for me to just build off the edge here maybe if i go for like that although again we're still losing a bit of space so maybe maybe we'll go in i, I want to keep this solid bit I do want to keep the solid bit. Can we go up there? Yes, we can go up there if we really wanted to. Okay, interesting. Uh, we'll place that there. 
And then we'll put the watchmaker in. And we'll put another action factory in like that. So you can see it's overhanging here. Lots of gears there. And we'll see what that provides us with. And we've been given a gardenless house and a big house. Citizen population is 74 75.4% 75 happiness and the critical is 42 so that's pretty good pretty good okay and I guess we got a big house which we can place well pretty much anywhere we desire I'm gonna place it I don't want to place it there if I place it over there that could potentially cause some issues so I'm gonna put it there and that does require gas and indeed electricity and that requires water so we're actually starting to run out of some of these things but okay we're getting there we are getting there it's all about trial and error and well <laughs> i guess it's a bit of luck as well so we have a portable house and a home office the portable house is it's, it's a really small house is what i'm what i'm truly after can we fit one in there we can't so we're just losing a bit of space you see like the home office we can we can fit in so there, there but we've like losing a lot of this stuff here. There's a park, which is good. We're going to go with a portable house. And we're just going to place it in there. And where is the best place for a park? Well, as I said, if placing it there, we wouldn't be able to build any roof above that. So I guess I'm going to have to place it there. I mean, it still looks quite nice with all of the all of the beams coming and such. Oh, I like that. Okay. Moving over to the next stage then, we've generated another two cards, which is, it's a watch tower, destroys last building placed and gives a copy of it. Ah, right, okay, that's interesting. And there's a casino, generates a building which can curse or bless your day when placed. Well, I mean, we might as well try it, right? <laughs> Not too sure where I can place this. Is this another the home yet yeah. there's the watchtower oh loads of resources needed for that one i guess the casino is just going to go in here and it says what are we going to get are we going to get a blessing or a curse it is it is is that what is that is that a head yeah <laughs> hmm generates building cannot be destroyed doesn't doesn't do anything other than always be there for you. So, the head, we can place it, like, say, here, and it'll always be there. So when we place on top of that, potentially that could work. So what's the watchtower do? Destroys last building place and gives a copy of it. No, we don't need to do that. So I'm going to skip. So we don't need the, the watchtower for this one. At least you can skip it, though. Big house and portable house. The portable houses are not that portable. I know there's some gaps in this street here. But, okay, that can go there. Oh, it would be nice if that could go on the side, but alas, it cannot. I guess we're going to have to build down in here. I'm going to hold control, which actually doesn't really help me because I can't see down. Mm, would it be best building, like, away from all of these just to try? Yeah, that seemed to... Seem to work out. Closing on 1,200. I'd like to get at least halfway through this uh, in this in this playthrough, but we'll see how how we get on with time and some such. There's a gardenless house which is reasonable in its size, so we can probably probably fit it in there, right? I think it did say it would fit in there. Yep. Yeah, okay. And then next one, but lots of resources over there that we don't have, particularly. We don't have electricity, although we've been given a casino, a home office, a portable house. Hmm, okay, right, this could provide us with some advantage. We're going to go with that there. The casino, we're going to double stack the casino. <laughs> right, there we go, because we've got the watchtower, so we can always delete it if it uh, gives us something bad. Oh, it's giving us something bad, unlucky. And what's it done? Debt. Ignites itself when placed. This building is unstable. Its effects might have devastating consequences. So if I place a watchtower, will it destroy the casino? Yes, indeed it did. Oh, but it kept the debt. Oh, well, okay. Let's let's double down on casinos then. <laughs> uh, gambling and... Yay! Something good, actually. 
which is a statue provides the needs of every building and range. Oh, wow. Oh, that is really good. But you can't place anything above it. Well, we do have a bit of a gap. We could just place it around there. And that would fulfill most of those needs. That's worth it. I think placing it there is worth it. Another another small house can go in. And then... Oh, look at the state of that. Can I, can I not... I think... Am I unable to skip it? I'm not sure. Anyway, factory house. That can go in there. Again, it's everything that goes around here. The needs are being fulfilled. So where can I put this? Probably just blow the casinos up, right? <laughs> right. Oh. Right, so yeah, the casino was... Um, was was taken out. That's actually not really a terrible issue. So we have a water tank, we have a gas tank, we have home office, and we have a platform. Now we don't want a gas tank. We don't need a gas tank, and we don't need a water tank. Which is I mean, yeah, a thing. See that's that's already fulfilled. Platform I will build a platform on Ooh, what side? Probably there. And there's a home office as well. I think we could be able to place a home office around here, maybe. Can I rotate it? I can. But it ain't gonna fit in, but it will fit in there. So yeah, we've got these, but I, and I can't but I can't skip them. So the water tank, that leaks, so everything underneath will be destroyed. So what, what I'll do then is I'll place it on the platform over here in a point where it's leaking, but it can't destroy that platform. And then we've got this gas tank, which... Where is the explosive part? Mm, there is something under there. There it is, there. Placing it over here would sort of work. Yeah, okay. So we're getting there. We're getting there. There's an oh, electric generator. We do need an electric generator. But, oh, it is igniting and it will ignite some stuff. Okay, right. I'm going to place the... Um, what am I going to place? Portable houses. And I'll place them probably there, there, and there. Most of those needs are being fulfilled apart from the electricity. So if I was to place it in here, it would get four buildings... That would get three. So I reckon we can get... Oh, we can get four if we place it there. And it won't blow up. I won't blow that up. What would we like for happiness? 78%. Okay. So some are sad. And sadly, 200 died apparently because they haven't got access to certain amenities. Okay, that's... Yes, far from ideal. We have an apartment complex. We've seen these previously. I'm going to place them in the middle, I think. We have a watchtower. We have a casino. Another home office. Which... Are they placing just on the edge there? Do we, do we want to place a casino? Go on, we'll place a casino. And we'll see what we get. We have a watchtower if need be anywhere. And it's, mm, it's in the middle. So another one of them heads... So they're like, can't be destroyed apparently. Can we go in between these two? Yeah, we can. <laughs> Brilliant, okay. And then we have a park, which there's only one place that's not being affected by the park. And I guess that will do that. Now I could get rid of the park, but I'm actually gonna, I'm actually gonna keep it. We may end up destroying that casino anyway. We've got water tank. We don't need it, but we're going to have to place it. We've got home office. That looks like it'll sit in there quite nicely, but well, apparently not. That can go in there. Oh, that's, look, is that going to fit in? It really isn't. Okay. So there's our leaking water tank. I mean, we might as well place it there. At least it fulfills some needs. And then that goes in there quite nicely. Brilliant. All right. Coming up to 2,000. Maximum is five. I don't know if we're going to get any more advanced tech. 
but we shall see. I can't place anything around that park. I'm going to place maybe there. And we've got some small ones here that I thought could, could fit down there. And maybe they would. You know, let's say this, this level here, you think, oh yeah, it's really good. We can see what's down there. And you can. But was that actually down there? Might have been. Might have been. Okay. Next phase. Do not like for happiness. Oh! Happiness 73.1%. Critical happiness level is 70%. So I just need to, I need to generate some power. There's an electric generator. That would fulfill the needs for a lot of these citizens. But it is igniting. But that's going to fulfill the needs for those citizens. Let's put maybe... That in there. That in there. Don't need a watchtower. And that goes in there. So just gas needed on the left hand side. Could use that watchmaker to get rid of the garden, but we don't really need it. I think we're going to head into the critical level of the citizens' happiness. There's another apartment complex. I'm going to place it next to the other apartment complex. And then another small house which can fit in. Fits in quite nicely. Oh no, seems to be happiness is increasing. We are definitely chasing that though. We've got water that needs to be fulfilled and a couple of gases and a couple of green spaces. There's garden houses. There's ooh, a quite big complex here, which I'm gonna put on I'm gonna put on there. And stack another one up on top of it as well. Because if it's around that statue in the middle, we know that that's pretty much a okay anyway. Almost almost to that 2000 marker, which is what we're aiming for. We have an apartment complex, which I'm going to place there, and naturally that will be fulfilled. Oh, we're very close. So we have a park, which I don't particularly want. Oh no, we've got three three needs here. Um, Place it on there. We can't place a roof, but I don't particularly care. There we go, and there's even more happiness. So I think there's only one or two extras that we're not meeting and oh yeah with the apartment complexes that I've got here we are definitely going to smash through the yeah <laughs> the level to now stack town all right that can go there that can go in there uh I'm going to go with one of them I'm going to go for a movie theater and action factory action factory they're all action factories aren't they just casinos as well. Alright. And we'll place that there. This is a movie theatre. Generates a uh, fact rolling for every one... A 3 to one factory drained. I don't know what that means, quite frankly. I can go in there. Place in that factory. And another one. And then another one. And, yep, yeah, there we go. We've got factories stacked up on top of a cinema. <laughs> Casinos on the other side. So, we've got a park, which I don't want to place. Portable house, which we can probably fit in. Thought I'd be able to fit in there, but sadly not. Can that fit in there? Fits in somewhere. And another portable house, which can go down there. So, I do want to place this thing. guess there on top of the water tank <laughs> the only the only amenities we're not uh, looking after I think is water there oh there's loads of stuff so there's apartment complex right and electric generator we need gas over here though don't we yeah I thought oh, that's a problem and obviously the game now getting to a point where we are genuinely struggling for a little bit of space on this one not go there. It cannot. But it can go there. Apartment complex can sit in there. We have a big house. Which is there. And then we do have electric generator. Which it's igniting. So I'm going to move it away from where the gas isn't going to need to be. Which is around there. We've got two electric generators. Okay. Well I guess I'll place one uh <laughs> um, like out of the way, maybe over here, or maybe, 
Maybe just go right centralized. There you go. And we need more gas generators. It's quite pretty at night with all of the, the windows and that. Nice and bright. There's our gas again. So I'm going to probably get some of these just stacked in there. That requires gas as well. Luckily, we are able to place this. And that wouldn't blow that up. It's actually a lot easier to connect than I thought. Is that a casino? Oh, we got another casino. All right. We'll put the casino next to the casino to make a mega casino and get... Uh, something middling which is another one of these heads so I'm just gonna place it there apparently it can't be destroyed but if the thing underneath it is destroyed well we'll see about that one we will see about that one so we've got gas tank we've got oh water tank right so a water tank would be great to fulfill that need but the question is are we able to even get anywhere near that now there's water, there's not water, but just stacking in the middle here. So we need water, three water, but it destroys what's underneath it. Apart from that head, because that can't be destroyed, right? The game is not saying it's going to blow up, so I'm going to risk it and say yes, that's going to, that might work. That might work. <laughs> And we'll see about that. Alright. End of. Yep. Didn't blow up. So that's what uh, it's good for. Another home office. Can it fit in there? I think it can. Indeed it can. And there's happiness again. Destroys the last building place and gives a copy of it. No. Don't need to use that. Another casino. More big houses and apartment complexes. Which we can place in there. That's an interesting slot for it, isn't it? I bet there's like places down here we can connect up to as well. <laughs> but, yeah, haven't yet found them all. Oh, there's a nice place for that. Okay. And... I can go in there. We're definitely getting... The, the buildings are definitely getting... Um, well... They're getting taller. This this entire thing's getting taller. I love all the supports on it though. And oh, another middling is gonna be one of those. Yeah, one of those. Actually they're really good though. So I'm gonna place it in there. I think we are getting one building. Portable house. Is that it? Well I guess it's gonna go there and we'll keep skipping. Approaching three uh, three thousand five hundred. And we were given nothing. Is that it? Have we run out of cards? No. So what needs do we have? Gas, water, and greenery. Okay, I think we'll be able to fulfill most of that. It goes in there. It goes in there. And it goes in there. So we need gas and water. Water being the main one. So I'm going to Place this up here. Maybe. No, down. No, if further up would be fine. Yes, yeah, so we need more water, but the closest thing for the water would be that head. We're being given gas and electricity and a casino. Okay, the casino is going to go in first because we might then get one of those heads. And no, we've been given something else. We've been given... A statue provides everything in... Ha, 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 absolutely everything in the radius around it. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. So it can go in there. And then everyone's happy. Little building in there. Then we've got, again, more gas. And I guess I'm just going to place it... I'm just going to place it anywhere that's not going to blow something up. I mean, that's... A general rule of thumb that's quite good, I find. And there we go. Unless obviously the objective is to try and blow something up. We've got loads more houses now, so it's just a case of placing them. Well, we can we can play it on easy mode for the next couple of turns because we know that everything we place around here will have its needs fulfilled. Um, there's our 3,500 mark. Let's go for extra cards here. And 
housing. So housing will go in there. We got the factories. Got even more factories, which will just sort of hang off the ledge. Hang off the ledge. And a bit more water there, but we can place directly on top of this point. And we've also got another platform as well. Brilliant. Okay. So, as for big house, we can go there. Small house might be able to... Can we get one that's on the edge there? Yeah. And would that would that not fit in there? No, we just need the even smaller properties. So that should be able to fit in there. And then the ledge. So where's the best place for a ledge? I think maybe... Maybe there, just in case we need water. Don't need to use the watchtower. Got another casino. Stack it on top of the other casino. Because we don't need... It doesn't have needs, the casino. Well, I guess it needs people to gamble in it. Mm, Mid-link, it's going to be one of those heads again. Perfect. I'm going to place it in that corner. So we have a nice structural bit. There's some more housing. Even more housing. And will that fit in there? Anywhere in there? Oh yeah, it was a bit where we will sit. So I'm seeing a couple of needs around the place though, so we do need to take a look at that. But being given another casino, right, we'll just stack the casinos. <laughs> was there a sim casino? There was a sim most things. Hotel. Grants 500 population. The number increases each time you gain, get another casino. Oh, wow. So there. 500 citizens. That's... Whoa, that's put us right near the end of the game. Um, the issue that I have, though... We see these unfulfilled needs. We need a park, ideally. Park is where it's at. Park is where it's at. Let's double check our happiness rating. Oh, we're 81.6% happiness and critical is 80 Right, we can provide water and we can provide power. Okay, that's good. So, where's the water going to go? Ideally, on top of a statue. But, we don't... There was one, If there was one around, I've lost it. Darn it. Uh, we could put it on here and it's leaking. Doesn't matter. Oh, we've got two, actually. Uh... We don't actually need to. Mm, I'll just... Ooh, is that going to destroy all of those? If I place it there, it's going to destroy all of those casinos and those houses. Mm, okay. Building will destroy what's below it next turn, excluding the same building or solid. So we can double stack them. <laughs> It does feel a bit cheeky, actually, double stacking. But whatever, that's what we're doing. Again, I'm, all I'm doing really is looking at the end now because I know that there's a statue there which is going to fulfill the needs of these people. So I don't have to worry necessarily about getting everything in. But the problem is that that's igniting that one. We don't want that. Oh, and finally we get a small house for all this time. Will it fit in around here? It will. But again, loads of needs. I think that need is going to... Yeah, I think we're going to trigger that need in the next turn unless we get... We need a park. We need a park. There's a home office. There's a cas casino. But that might be it. I think that's it. We've completed it. End of the land. So, there we go. That is what we've been what we've been uh, making. Wow. So we have another statue, just because we can. There we go. Let's uh, fulfill that one. And job done. Right. I think we will. Uh, I think we'll leave it there. Look at that. That's that's pretty nice. I'm happy with that. I mean, it's it's mainly casino, let's be honest. Uh, <laughs> that's a lot of casino. But, well, we've managed to make it. Brilliant. So, let's go to main menu then, and we'll call it there. 
that's been a bit of pile up. Uh, here is City Blueprint. And we can get more cards. So Slum. Mechanic. You've got Storage. Yeah, there's lots of stuff we can use to unlock that. That's a City Blueprint. But yeah, if we're in a new land, we've now got that land and Farland Mont. So it's not on just this concrete base. We've got this. Interesting. Anyway, we're going to leave it there for now. That's been a bit of pile up. If you want to see more, by all means, let me know. If you have any tips, comments, suggestions, then by all means, pop them in the comments there. As always, hope you have enjoyed this. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.